All right, welcome Elf Pages. We'll begin just a moment. Just trying to adjust here. All right. How's everyone doing this evening? Hang on, am I going live? I don't see me on here, so hang on. live. Hold on. I'm live there. Aha, there I am. Okay, I'm live now. Whew, that was tough. Check the website again. Okay, website looks good. How's Facebook look? I think I'm live. So sound check. Testing, 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 testing. Okay. I'm live. I'm good to go. Welcome, Facebookers. I see you on there. All right. Takes a second sometimes to get all the technical stuff out of the way. Well, it is after 7, so without further ado. Welcome, Mouth Pagers. Happy Thursday. Yam Hamashi. Happy Thursday. Hope everyone's had a great day and a great week. And it's already November 2nd. Whoa. It's already November. That's crazy. Mouth Page is an online spiritual community, and we are an online Jewish synagogue. Yes. I said Jewish synagogue. Can you believe that? I know. Crazy. I'm a rabbi. Isn't that crazy? That's awesome. God is great. Love you, God. All right. We are an online Jewish synagogue every Monday through Thursday, as you can tell. That's why you're watching us. That's why you're eating your popcorn, watching the show. 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We do our show every Monday through Thursday. And every Friday is our Shabbat service. Shabbat Shalom. Hey, Shabbat Shalom. Hey. That's a preview, right? <laughs> Not a 30-second commercial. Shabbat. Check us out. No? Okay. No? All right. <laughs> so for those of you new to our community, our week that motivations are designed to help each of you get motivated from a hard day, a hard week, and get ready for the week ahead. I try to make them short and powerful. Usually lasts about 10 minutes, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. We have been going live now for 44 weeks. And we are over 32,500 diehard mouth pagers liking us and following us on Facebook. That is awesome. Let's go. We got to get to 50,000 before the end of the year. That's our goal. I know we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. So I hope you find our community a place where you can grow spiritually. I mean, where else can you go where you see this rabbi in a weird-looking outfit? Doesn't have the dangly hair. Doesn't have the kippah. I mean, my head is covered, by the way. You know, not that traditional. Taking it to a different level. Isn't that what we're about? Isn't that what we're about? Isn't that what we're about? So I got you both on both sides. And I know you're making fun of me on both sides, so I got you. What? <laughs> Gotta have fun. But the message has to count, right? The message has to count. So Shema is what we're going to talk about tonight. I mean, not talk about, but our blessing, right? The declaration of faith in one God. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. 
Blessed be the name of his glorious kingdom forever and ever. Amen. So last night we ended with, well, this whole week we've been doing the Halloween week. Since Halloween was on Tuesday, we've been doing the Halloween week. So this week, or this show, the tonight's motivation is part four. Last night we did part three the day after. So tonight is part four. I'm going to go backwards, dressing up in costume, right? We didn't talk about that before. Now there is a Jewish holiday called Purim that we dress up. So we will talk about that again in the spring. But Halloween, Halloween, dressing up. Now, why is this a big deal? So first of all, why do we dress up? To go get candy. Duh. To scare people. Duh. To be something different. Like you want to dress like a superhero. You want to dress like a werewolf. You want to dress like Frankenstein. Right? You want to dress like something. But let's dissect this a little more. Let's dig into this a little more. We dress up every day. Do you realize that? We dress up every day. Take me, for example. This is what I wear before I do my show. It's kind of like my costume. But I don't call it Halloween. I don't go out with a bag of candy going trick-or-treat because this is my costume, but I do dress up. When you go to work every day, whoa, do you dress up? You don't just wake up and just throw on whatever. I mean, I've seen fast food restaurant employees that do that, but they do wear a uniform. You don't just dress up. You dress up. You put, you do the hair, you do the makeup if you're, you know, however, you, you put on the cologne, you put on your tie, your shirt, your dress, your whatever to make yourself look awesome, right? Firefighters dress up in their uniform, so we know who they are. Police officers, highway patrol or state troopers, you know, military people, uh, nurses and doctors, business people wear suits, right? And dresses. Santa Claus, right? Dresses up in the red suit. We know exactly who that person is. The Easter Bunny, right? Dresses up. You know, we, we know what these people are, right? They dress up. People dress up every day. And we don't even realize it. But why do we dress up? On the weekends, we're sitting on our couch and we're like, oh, bump on the log, not shaving, not doing the hair, the makeup. But then come the weekday, we dress up. We fix our hair. We take a shower for the first time in two days. We get all dolled up for work. Halloween comes and I hear people say, well, I'm not going to celebrate Halloween because it's blah, blah, blah. Halloween's every day for us, and we don't even realize it. And by golly, do I get candy? No. That's the stuff we have to think about. Now, why is that important? Okay, let's talk God now, because that's what it's all about for me, right? God is everything to me. So, let's talk God. How can we implement dressing up for God? We do that all the time, too. We go to the synagogue, and we put on our kippah, we put on our talit, or our prayer shawl, right? If you're other religions, they might just dress up. But it's the appearance, right? You change things. But it's not necessarily dressing up as it is what's inside. Because think about this. When you go to work, you have your work face on. When you go to the synagogue or church, you have your God face on. When you're off and you're just relaxing, you've got your off face on. 
God wants you to have your God face on all the time. We dress up because that's what we're, that's what we do. They did that thousands of years ago too. They get ready for battle, they dress up in gear. They don't just show up in their Sunday clothes or their Saturday cartoon outfits and they run on the field. You dress up. But for God, God wants you to dress up in here. God wants you to be ready in here. Because when we dress up, we feel like we are a superhero. We feel like we are a doctor. We are a lawyer. We are a nurse. We are a super uh, pol police officer, a firefighter. We are those people. But with God, why are we not that with God? Why do we not dress up ourselves for God? Why are we not internally ready for God? Why are we not like our superheroes for God? Because in here, this is what's important. This is what's important. We know what people look like on the outside. If you're an athlete, you're going to wear your gear. If you're, a, if you're a swimmer, you're going to have your little swim stuff, skier, right? But for God, it's what's in here. God knows when you're dressed up for him in here. You, you don't necessarily have to have all the gear, but it's got to be in here. Gear in here. Man, I should be a little rapper. Gear in here, right? It's in here. Because that is what's important. That is what God wants us to do. So when you take Halloween week, when everybody thinks that this is like a scary week, this is an evil week, Rabbi Yak puts it into perspective. High five. Puts it into perspective on how we can turn this into a godly week. Because we dress up every day for work, for school, to impress. People get their faces done, their body done, they get the fat sucked out. For what? I do what internally for God. That is who I need to dress up for. That is who I need to impress. God wants you from what's in here. That's what's important. Dress up for God internally. Be ready. That's what's important. So the word of the day is costumes. Because to me, that's it's important, right? Costumes. But let me break it down for you. See, so call on God when any whenever you need something. Seriously, good or bad, right? Good or bad. Don't just call on God when you need something. When bad things are happening, call on God when something good, right? When you need something good. Oh, only God can fix all things. Yeah, start doing everything for God. I say that again because that is what's important. You can put everything else as secondary. Do not put God as a secondary. Put God as a primary. T, to God. To God, it's what's on the inside. To God, it's what's on the inside. Not how much other stuff you do on the outside. That's Halloween. God wants to know what's inside. You use your strengths for God. And why do I say that? I see all these talk show people. I see all these actors and actresses and superheroes and or athletes, I mean. Use your talents for God. All this talent, put it to use for God. That's what's important. M, make God first in everything you do. Amen. E, evil wants you to change your appearance. God wants you to change your soul. That's the difference. S, say to evil, get lost, pal. Get lost. So before we end tonight's motivation, I'd like to close with prayers and birthday wishes. So healing prayers to my father-in-law. Thank you all so much for all the prayers. He's getting so much better. He's doing well. Thank you so much. Pray for Vicky, for Liza's father, Kenny, Sessie, Terry, Laura's mother, Liza's back, Jeremiah, Jason, Joshua, Sam's daughter, Raul, Roger, Robert, Stephanie, Ralph's mother, Craig's aunt, Sandy's son, John, Melissa, Kim, Paul, Paula, 
Natalia, Nathan, Brian, Mark, Eric, Steve, Grace's son, Mike, Layla, or Leia and Jasmine for their up and coming test. Marcus is back and Jonathan's family. And pray for all that were affected by the major incident in Manhattan the other day. And happy birthday to Alonzo and Dave. Yam Samach. Number 62327. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his conscience upon you and give you peace. Yevarachacha Adonai Veshamracha. Yair Adonai Panav Alecha Veth Kunacha. Yisad Adonai Panav Alecha Veyasam Lacha. Shalom. Amen. I want to thank you all for watching tonight. Happy Thursday. Happy November 2nd. Check us out every Monday through Thursday live on Facebook, 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And tomorrow, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time for Shabbat service. Shabbat Shalom. Hey, Shabbat. Check us out on our website, www.mouthpage.com. Check out our YouTube channel, Mouthpage Virtual Community. Check out our Facebook page. Continue to spread the word and the love about who we are. Share our page. That is awesome. Mouthpage is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. So don't forget to donate. It's important. Keeps this website going. It keeps me roaring down the, the road, right? Keeps us going. Oh, yeah. Don't forget. Help others to be nice. Thank you. I almost forgot. God bless. Lila Tove. I will see you all tomorrow. Light your candle. Shabbat Shalom. Starting tomorrow. Love you all. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. What's up, Mary? Didn't think you were going to make it. Didn't think you loved us enough anymore. Sad. I'm kidding. Thanks for jumping on.